Hello and welcome to Shared Library. This is part one of a two-part tutorial on the citation management software Zotero. Zotero is a free service offered outside of ETSU and is available to students, faculty, and staff that work similarly to EndNote or Mendeley. Citation management software allows us to maintain a personal library of the materials we've read or plan to read and may use in future research or our schoolwork. Many have plugins that allow you to pull in citation information from web pages or databases and organize it into an app. In this video, we'll go over how to set up Zotero. Let's begin with creating an account and then we'll download the desktop application. You can find Zotero's website on the library homepage under Writing and Citation Tools, which is under the gray search box or under the Research tab, and then go to Research Support. To the left, you will find a menu which includes citation tools closer to the bottom. Zotero is listed there. Click the link. On this page, you will find the link to Zotero's site for downloading the software and establishing an account. You will also see a guide on how to use Zotero. Click the Zotero link at the top now. I would suggest registering for an account prior to downloading. You can do that via the login button at the top of right of the page. I already have an account, so I will just log in. Feel free to pause the video here while you make an account. After logging in, you will be brought to your citation library. If you choose, you can update your profile to reflect institutional affiliation and disciplines. The next step is to validate your email. Check the email you registered with for the validation link. This will allow you to sync your web library with your desktop application once we've downloaded it. Once you validate the email, it will give you the step-by-step -step instructions on syncing your library. Now we'll download the application. Go back to the main page by clicking the Zotero icon. Download the application according to your system preferences. You'll also see the option to download the Zotero connector, which installs a plug into your browser that pulls metadata from articles, databases, or websites and adds it to your library. This is an optional step and not required for you to use the citation library. Once you've downloaded Zotero, you'll be able to open the Zotero desktop application. Now we'll go into preferences and check our settings to make sure our syncing options are set up correctly. To do that, go to Zotero, then preferences, and then sync. You will be prompted to put in your username, which is your email and password. You will then click Set Up Syncing. Your desktop and web library will now sync. Under the general settings, you may choose some of these options which determine how materials are stored in your library. For example, if you've chosen to use the Zotero connector, it gives you options for what information is pulled and stored. Remember, metadata availability may vary. This is how you make an account with Endemloot Zotero. In part two, we will cover how to add and organize our citation library. If you have any questions, feel free to make a research help appointment.